In this video, you will learn how to clean, repair and preserve your paintbrushes to improve their lifespan. Save some money. Who wouldn't want that? So I've got a selection of brushes here, each with a different problem. If you have one or more brushes that needs restoring, I've left some time codes in the description that might help you with your specific problem. So these are the brushes that we'll be resurrecting today, and hopefully they cover most of the bases. We've got splayed bristles, misshapen bristles, dried acrylics, dried oils, and stained bristles. So this is the main product that we're going to be using today, the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver made by the General Pencil Company in America. This is the one ounce version. Links to get some in the description below. This is not a sponsor video. This is just a good product that I recommend, as you will see. Uh, it's basically a soap specifically formulated to clean, preserve and restore your paintbrushes. So the first type we've got here is a synthetic round bristle brush, uh, size 4, and uh, as you can see the bristles are splayed apart in this particular one. Um, it's probably due to the paint here left in the ferrule, ferrule being the metal bit here. And um, yes, as a result of the paint being lodged down at the base of the bristles, it's, and it kind of spreads them apart. Um, it's a, a problem of overloading your brush really and then not cleaning it properly afterwards. So uh, there's one way to do this. What we can try and do is we just try and recondition it and reshape it. So this is some boiling hot water. So you dip it in boiling water. This is uh, straight from the kettle but not too deep so that you don't melt the glue that's uh, in the inside the ferrule there holding the bristles in. You just hold it in there for 30 to 40 seconds, um, rotating it round as you go. Maybe you want to shape it a little bit. There you go. And uh, it looks like it's taken shape now, but not really. You can see as uh, I break the surface tension of the water, you can see that the, uh, the bristles are still being forced apart by the paint stuck in the ferrule there, or the base of the bristles. So what we need to do is we need to clean it. We need to try and get that paint out of the bottom base of the bristles there. So this is where the Master's Brush Cleaner comes in useful. So uh, let's uh, show you how to clean it. So you need a wet brush and it's basically you're just making soapy suds. You just uh, add it to the soap Swirl it round and around and you get some, a nice lather and then work it into your hand. Um, I find using the texture of your hand round and round in circles like this usually helps. Not, Don't uh, ever go against the direction of the bristles. Um, you'll just counteract what you're doing. But always work uh, in the direction of the bristles of how you usually paint or how you should be painting at least. So round around, use the friction between your hand and the bristles to clean it. Um, make sure you press hard enough so that the the base where the paint is stuck is almost touching your hand and keep working it round. Make sure it's nice and moist and uh, makes a nice lather. Some soapy suds. I sped it up a little bit in places here just to speed up the process because uh, sometimes it's probably a bit boring. So here we are. So we've got the um, bristles full of soapy suds now. And you just massage it and um, tease it into, into place, into shape. Try and see, I'm noticing I'm, I'm pulling it backwards here and rotating it as I go and just trying to get that conical shape back again. 
and uh, trying to encourage a lovely nice point at the, at the tip. So um, there we are, we've got a nice point and uh, it's not perfect, there's still a, st a few stray hairs sticking out, I'm just trying to coax them into position. Um, but sometimes, uh, I think this is this is quite an old brush and quite a well worn brush. But um, sometimes you can't win against you know brushes do have a lifespan. It's not a perfect uh, solution, but as you can see, it's uh, done a pretty good job here. Um, just clean the ferrule in my hand and. Uh, that's that one done. And I'll just leave it like that um, until I use it next. As you can see, it's got rid of most of the paint down the base of the bristles. Um, there are, There is still some left there. Um, if you find it doesn't get rid of it, just repeat the process until you're happy and satisfied as much as you like. Alright, let's move on to the next one. So here's another very common one amongst uh, amateur artists. Bent brushes, bent bristles. Uh, it's a result of uh, leaving your brush bristle down in the water for too long and um, you end up with bent bristles. So again with the first one we're using hot water straight from the kettle and we're going to try and get some of that memory from the original forming when it was made in the manufacturers back again into, back into the bristles. And uh, just like the first one again we're going to use the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver and getting it nice and wet form it into lather and then work it into your hand so try and coax it into shape again using your hand using your fingers very gently shape it back into its original form and if it doesn't work the first time try again a couple more times until you're happy with the result. So another very common one is uh, dried acrylic on your brush and your brush dries completely solid. We use a secret weapon in, in addition to our master's uh, then we're going to use glass cleaner. Swirl it around and around. There's something in glass cleaner that acrylic paint just can't resist against. Comment below if you know the science behind that. So keep working it in and you'll see that the acrylic paint begins to dislodge from the bristles. As you can see up close here it's uh, beginning to come come off cleanly. Quite remarkable. Of course this wouldn't happen in water. Because uh, as, as you may well know, acrylic binder is very similar to a PVA glue. And it, uh, it dry, when it's dry it's uh, water resistant. But uh, yeah, this Windex seems to um, almost break it down or it stops it sticking to things at least just pull off any large lumps like I did there and let's work in some of our masters brush cleaner so you can use the Windex as a, as a water substitute as well no harm, it still, it still works and suds up like a soap. I just sped this up a little bit just to um, relieve some of the boredom. 
and again just like the others work it in into the palm of your hand using circles going with the flow of the bristles and just work it round and round try and get some of that paint that may be wedged in between the bristles there and now I'm just picking up the suds twirling the brush round and round trying to get a fine point on it now as you can see it's, uh, it's working pretty well just a little a few more suds and a uh, little teasing roll it around in the fingers and pretty much done just leave that until I use it next time Okay, so supposing we have an oil painting brush that's been left to dry. So we can use this. I use this as a let's zest it, it smells very nice oranges. And any Americans watching will probably be more familiar with this terpenoid, odorless terpenoid. Um, terpenoid substitute, you can use that too. So use that instead of your water or Windex and you can start to clean the brush as you go. If this doesn't happen immediately, you might have to soak it for 24 hours instead, just so that the um, chemicals can take action against the uh, oil paint that's dried there, and it'll help soften it. So just like the others again, you pretty much know the drill now. Clean off as much as you can and then we'll use the soap just to clean it out of the bristles using the same process and actions. So this time I'm using uh, the Zestit or the odorless mineral spirit as the solvent to mix with the soap. Um, same action the company that manufactures the soap, they still recommend using water or even hot water when using oils or when you're restoring an oil brush. Uh, in this particular case, it would be restoring it because it's bringing it back to its original state rather than just cleaning it. The, the company says that it's a cleaner, preserver and restorer. A lot of the time you'll be doing all three at once. So you'll be cleaning it, preserving it, and restoring it. Just use it by using it and leaving it on the brush until you use it next time. It'll help preserve it and keep its shape. So this type is uh, stained bristles. Um, this is more noticeable with the white uh, synthetic nylon bristles, obviously, as you can see. And it's been stained with acrylic paint, in this case, um, a red acrylic paint. Um, reds and blues tend to stain the most because they're quite potent pigments. So as I know this is acrylic, we're going to be using our good old friend Windex to clean it and you'll see the immediate effect uh, the Windex has on the acrylic paint in the brush as you'll see the Windex slowly turning purple as we know the red added to the blue makes purple and already you can see the pigment coming out of the bristles there But it's still not effective enough, so let's give it a clean with our good old The Masters paintbrush cleaner and preserver. So same old routine again. Make some make some suds and work it into your hand using the friction of your hand to 
create the suds. See the see the suds are all pink. That's all the pigment coming out, obviously. Work again in circles. Same routine and repeat as often as you wish until your desired effect is reached. And again, just as with the others, apply some of the Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver just to condition the brushes while you're not using them. And just before you do use them, just rinse them in a little bit of water and they're ready to use. So as you can see from the before and after pictures here, the Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver is, is a very effective tool to help preserve your brushes and to save you some money. Thanks for watching and see you next time.